Today I'm all the machinery. We have the Hanchette VR series 122 inch knife grinder, 10 foot magnetic chuck. Machine's already been sold, so we're just going to make the video just to show the customer everything is done before it ships out. We have the coolant pump on the end. They are hardwired, so the wires have to be cut to move it. We pulled new wire and extended it so that piece of, uh, what do they call it, seal tight on the end with the wires coming out, that's to wire your pump. Just remove the cap on the end and reconnect the wires. When we put the new seals and the piston on top, some oil leaks out of the pump because it's lower, that's why the cardboard's on the floor under it. Otherwise it runs good. We clean the screen out for the fan. There's your segmented wheel. We sh will show you we got the feed mechanism cleared so it's not gummed up anymore and it's working. We put a new tulip seal and the little hydraulic piston that operates the feed. So this is your stop. This can how far the feed will travel. When the feed wheel goes up enough, it pushes the pole out of the way and it won't feed anymore. So for now, we'll just let it feed whatever it is, about 10 divisions. We move the stop and the rear real close so it doesn't have to stroke all the way to, just to show you that we have the feed working. It was just a matter of being gummed up. There's some oil sitting on the ways from the way feed guess once it's level, it shouldn't come out like that. There you have it. You always have to pull out on this stop button. That only kills the table feed, but that has to come out. So we start the, we start the head. When you power it up, with the head all the way to the right, the wheel must turn clockwise. That's turning clockwise, then your hydraulic pump will be turning the right direction. Then you can start the hydraulics. Start the table. You can see, I'll, go around, I'll go around the back and show you it feeding properly. Every time it hits a stop, you'll see that wheel index the feed. It comes up one notch, or two notches, it's adjustable on top, so eventually it will push the stop out and it won't feed anymore. There, it came off the feed, so now it's no longer feeding. It'll still rotate, but it's not feeding because it picks the pole out. All you have to do is loosen the knob, slide it down, and it will go back to feeding. Like I said, we put a new seal in the tulip seal in there, so that's good now. Stop to the very end there, but it came down a little fast. I had to get my fingers out of there. You can see it's 
broken just fine. We have the magnet up in the air. You can only move the magnet when the head stops. You don't crash it into the wheel.